Hello, welcome to this video. In this next video, we'll be talking about CSS. That's cascading style sheets. Cascading style sheets is where you use um, multiple, for lack of a better term, multiple uh, CSS code to to make your your website look more pretty, more presentable. You can do that. You can do use CSS to use multiple websites to look pretty and presentable at the same time. I'll go over that as we uh, go along with this video. But to start with, let's talk about in our last video series, we were uh, going over HTML code and using tags. So, I've opened up a browser. This is my Firefox browser. Doesn't matter, it can be opened in any browser uh, known today. But I just wanted to go over this. This is uh, using HTML code and tags to create a simple web page. Now, the reason why I wanted to go over this is I just wanted to go over and show you from the um, HTML uh, videos that we went over. You can use that and the code in those videos to make a simple web page. Um, you can do that. You can download the uh, code that I have used in that video, and you can modify it. You can put in your own um, your own image, your own picture. You can put in your own links, your own content. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, you can change out the footer. You can change out the content. You can do whatever you want. That uh, that code will be given to you free of charge and you can access it free of charge. The reason why I'm going over this is I just want to let you know that this is from the website uh, HTML videos. This is a perfect those that is a perfect video perfect tutorial for creating a simple website. You can throw one up with that in literally no time at all. But However, you can still use that code, but what happens if you have multiple websites, right? What happens if you have a home page, an about us page, and then a contact us page? What happens if you have multiple websites um, and you want to be able to control all those websites at one time? That's what CSS is going to be for. And that's what our next, that's what this, this next series dealing with CSS is going to be about. To begin with, let's go ahead and create those multiple pages. We're going to go ahead and close this one. And this is the page that we have so far. Okay. It's just a blank uh, HTML page. It doesn't have a background. It doesn't have any colors. It does have some links and it does have some images. But we're going to consider this our regular home page. All right. As a matter of fact, if we open up the folder from this page, we can see right here it's the same. It's the same type of uh, code that we've been dealing with when we were dealing with HTML. Okay. But with this, let's go ahead and create some other uh, some other web pages. All right. So let's go ahead and from our main page right here we can go ahead and right click it and then we can go down to where it says open with and then from that menu we can go to where it says text editor and left click on text editor okay and if you've looked at my other videos you know you'll know how to create these web uh, pages and how to create these different folders and as far as the images are concerned you can use your own images. You don't have to use mine. Okay. So moving on, let's go ahead and minimize that and we'll open up our HTML page. And the only thing I want to do is I want to change this just a little bit for now. We're starting out with this web page. This is different from the one that we had in uh, HTML videos. But let's say um, we want a web page and we want to make a for our links. This is down in our navigation right here. Okay. And let's say we want to change the name. 
let's say we wanted a home page let's say we also for the next one we wanted a about us page and for the last one let's say we want it to be a contact page all right now of course we're going to want to create the links for those pages so these are just going to be examples okay but you should be able to click on them so for home let's just type in hom dot html and then the same thing for about we're going to call that one a about us dot html and obviously for the last one we are going to call that one contact dot html then we're going to save that file and then we're going to go ahead and create those files okay so now for this first one it's already we're going to go back to our folder our web to css folder that uh, i created earlier and if you don't remember how to or if this is your first time looking at this and you don't know how to create folder and files go back to my other videos uh, on how to create tools or what tools you will need to create these things and it'll show you there so moving on we already have this file created but let's go ahead and make copies of it so to make a copy you just right click on it choose copy and then in a blank space in your folder you just right click and choose paste now let's do that one more time right click and choose paste and as you can see we've got one two and three copies okay now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and change the names of these these files all three files are gonna have a different name so we're gonna right click on the first one and choose rename and then we're gonna go ahead and just call this one home home dot HTML that's gonna be its extension okay and then we're going to go on the next one and we're going to type in we're going to right click on that one we're going to choose rename and then we're going to name that one contact dot html okay and then the last one we're going to right click we're going to rename and of course we're going to name this one up about us dot html okay now let's go ahead and open back up our our individual um, file and actually we want to go ahead and close this because we know lo that file no longer exists so I'm just gonna choose close without saving okay and then I'm gonna open up my home dot html I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna choose open with and then I'm going to choose text editor and left click on text editor alright and as you can see the file comes up and we've created three files to match these three links right here alright now what we want to do we can minimize home and we're going to open up the other two files so let's open up about us we'll open that up in a text file minimize it and then finally we'll open up contact us All right we'll open up that as well okay now all three of them have basically the same thing because we just created copies from the one original file so and that's good and we can go ahead and keep everything the same okay we are going to make a few modifications. All right. Now, your home.html, we're going to go ahead and leave that the same. All right. Now, over here in about you, about us.html, let's see. We'll go ahead, since we're already on the about page, we can take out the about link. 
okay and then let's see we can go ahead and keep everything else the same um, with the exception that let's see we can say for the first line just to identify this website we'll just say this is the about us page all right and then we'll go ahead and save that and then let's go over to the contacts page okay and since this will already be the contact page we can go ahead and take that out of the links right and then right here in our first paragraph we can say this is the contact page okay save all of the changes there all right now let's go ahead and minimize this we'll go ahead and open up our browser we'll add on two more tabs and in each tab we'll add our new websites right uh, for this first website I have three tabs and all but for this first website it should stay the same but let's go ahead and add in home okay and then for the second website let's go ahead and add in about and then for our last website let's go ahead and add in contact now let's go ahead and maximize our browser we'll go back to the first one oh and to distinguish this home from anything from the rest of them let's go back to home and we will say let's see we don't need the home link there so we can go ahead and delete that and then in in the paragraph we can say this is the home page go ahead and save that and then let's go back to our browser hit the refresh button okay so this is our home page right here this is our contact page or I'm sorry this is our about us page and this is our contact page all right now one other thing we can do to distinguish that which you guys probably already knew before me let's see let's go back and we'll start with the home page and with that one we'll create uh, the header tag so that it can be very large when we do this and we'll type in uh, tag H or let's see let's make that H1 that's the beginning of the tag and we'll just say home page and then we'll close that H1 All right and then in this page we will go ahead and create let's see the about page and now the h1 about us page and then we'll close that tag and then we'll save it and then the last one, we will go ahead and create a head, a head tag and say this one. Oops, no, nope, that's in the wrong spot. We'll come over here, H1, and this will be the contact page. And then we'll close it. Oops. Sorry about that. That was a fat finger. Wrong key. And we'll 
we'll save that. Now let's go back over to home and make sure we're in the right spot. We'll save that. Okay, now we'll go back to our browser. And we'll hit the refresh screen. And you can see the home page. And refresh the screen again. And contact. Okay, this is the about page. And then refresh the screen again. And there is our contact page. Okay, so we have all three of our uh, pages created. So, this is all for now. Believe me, just hold on for a little bit longer. I'll go over why we did this in the next video. Thank you very much. I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.